Hi, <clears throat> well here we are in lockdown still. Uh, some of you will have been watching my uh, series of videos on the restoration of my Raffo Belva. Excuse me, this morning I haven't shaven. I'm not exactly a thing of beauty to look at but the car is. However, I have a slight problem. I've been stuck for over a year because I've got a problem with the idle, the tick over of the engine. Um, as I talk, I'll put up the specs of the car just to keep this brief. The car should tick over, the engine should tick over at about eight to 900 and it's racing up to as much as 4,000 revs, which is crazy. And when it does settle down, it's always over a thousand. It's not only irritating, but it's dangerous and it's really frustrating me. I can't move this project on, so I've been stuck for over a year. I'm just hoping that some of you guys out there might have knowledge of this particular engine. I know it's an old engine, it's a Ford Fiesta Mark IV uh, ZTEC 1.25 and there are common problems. I've checked all the online uh, forums, there are problems with the idle speed, we've checked air leaks, I've checked, um, there's um, an error code, I think it's a what, P0013 <clears throat> air temperature sensor, I've replaced that and I think the code has gone away but I think the problem is related to when the car is in motion and it's something to do with the speedometer or even power st steering which of course my Raffo Belva doesn't have because I transferred you know, the donor car was the Ford Fiesta, and of course I transferred the uh, the engine, the wiring and the ECU. And the reason I used such a small engine is I was advised that this particular engine was the best of the breed under 1500cc, keeps my motoring costs down, tax, etc. Uh, but also that the ECU... The ECU is the most straightforward because these are a nightmare. You know, in fact, I'm, I'm almost tempted to call it Snowflake ECU. I might title this Snowflake ECU because it is so easily offended. So please, if anybody out there has got um, some sort of insight into what the problem might be, uh, please leave a comment. I'd really appreciate that. And I hope to get back to delivering some woodworking and music videos. Thank you for watching.